Okay. You can listen to the beautiful sounds of Macy chewing on a goat's hoof. <laughs> she got a special treat today from the feed store. Oh boy, all right, while we work on our project. Here we are back at our cashmere hat that we're working on. So I have put the cashmere, that's the Angora bunny wool down all over my resist. Remember that was that piece of just, you know, plastic. It's on the inside here. I've coated it on the front and the back. I'm just gonna be careful and show you. With two layers on the front and the back two times so it's nice and thick there are no air bubbles and then I took some ram teeny wool my little ram sheep that I dyed with navy blue writ dye and it was my first time dyeing so you'll notice as I go about this it's gonna start to bleed but anyway it is writ dye and I'm just making a little scallop design. So what I do is I take some Dawn dish soap just to make sure it doesn't stick to my fingers and I just kind of squirted it on there. That's what the light blue is. Take a little bit of my Ram Teeny wool and the next part, let's see, the part that I'm doing right now is I'm just putting a little bit right down these little lines. Macy is really enjoying that nice bone, huh, Macy? I have really been enjoying, I like those little squiggles, so I'm gonna leave them, it looks really cool. I've really been enjoying working with my Angora wool for wet felting. It feels like the difference, if you're a potter and you've worked with um, clay versus porcelain, this is what it feels like. It's like working with peanut butter. It's so soft. <laughs> I'm gonna do the bottom portion now, which kind of looks like a little, like a little taco kind of. First thing is I, I just like set down some wool in like a basic shape of what I want. A little bit more here. And then we just kind of start moving it around and tapping it in place. And if we need to add more, we always can. And if it sticks to my fingers, what do I need? More soap. Now it's really big now, but it's gonna shrink about 40% down. I think I want this to be a little bit closer to my seashell, so I'm just gonna lose my finger, wiggle it a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, that got a little too close. Let's move it away a little bit. You can always take little artistic liberties. There. Looking at my seashell, I'm thinking it might need a little bit more. I'm just going to add another little edge here. Let's just make it a little bit wider. side. I'll do a little bit more. I'll make this side a little bit wider. Ooh. It's too long. It's kind of cool. I don't mind the little straight 
string tentacles. I actually think they look kind of nice. We had the nicest farm visit today with a wonderful family who looked at Goldie and her lambs. Goldie loved them. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> she was giving them the eyes. The I love you eyes. She doesn't give those eyes to everyone, just so you know. She actually doesn't give those eyes to anyone me like a year to get those eyes. Alright, let's see how that looks. Alright, I'm just going to take a little step back, look at my seashell. It's getting out of control now, but I think I like it. Do I want to add anything else to my design? Hmm. Or I could always do like a little strand of seaweed going across there. No, let's just leave it simple. Let's leave it simple. You know, you can always overdo it. So now the next step is I just take my screen, I put it right down over the top because I don't want any of my nice little design fibers to move anywhere. And I'm just gonna gently press at first. I'm just pressing. The soap is what's gonna help those fibers start to lock together. So I'm just pressing gently. You can use both hands. You can use one hand, but I just start to press, and I press in a circle, and I press this way and that, and it's just kind of rhythmic and therapeutic. It's like you're working with Play-Doh, but it's wool. <laughs> it's fiber dough. It's so wonderful. I'm going to start pressing around the edges so everything starts to get pressed together. And this is why it's nice to have your bubble wrap underneath. The bubble wrap kind of helps the fibers hold together and not move. If they shift, you're gonna have a hole in your fleece, in your um, hat, and you don't want that. You don't want a big gaping hole somewhere. You want it to be one beautiful, solid piece of fleece, of cashmere. Just pressing. You get some really nice effects with wool too. I had no idea the beautiful designs you could get with the little fibers that wrinkle and twirl and twist. You can do swirls, you can do polka dots, you can do birds. The sky's the limit. So I'm showing you guys how to do just a round hat. Just a nice simple round hat but I've also been experimenting with clothing. And I'm gonna start showing you guys some videos of maybe making some baby onesies and some little tiny dresses for children. And maybe little tiny coveralls and things. Simply using wool and a resist. I've been pressing on this side, you guys know, just for a few minutes, maybe about four minutes, three or four minutes, but I can already tell that all the air has pressed out and the fibers are already starting to flock together a little bit. I'm still not going to start rubbing yet, I still feel like my design is just a little bit too fragile. But what I want to do is I'm just going to flip the whole thing over. At this point, I have a little sandwich system going on. I have two pieces of bubble wrap, so I'll just put a piece of bubble wrap here. And I'm just going to take the bubble wrap from the bottom, and I'm going to flip the whole thing over. And all I'm going to do is keep on massaging and sandwiching the other side massaging and pressing on the other side. I actually can't flip it because my tripod's on it right now. I don't want to lose you guys, but I'm just going to keep on massaging the other side for a little bit. 
Um, when it starts to firm up, I'm going to start the next stage, which is rolling it. And when I get to that stage, I will do another video and show you what that means. So I'm just going to keep on flipping and pressing and just patty caking my little <laughs> design. It's like a pancake. Let's call it our cashmere pancake at this point. All I'm doing is pressing my cashmere pancake. All right, I'll see you soon.